uh, I think you'd be fine. What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. Coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you drunk journal content and videos. I hope everybody is having a good evening. I am here on my never-ending quest to cover my room in banners. <laughs> my sudden obsession with banners. And I have my friend here, Miss Obisa. Hello. And I need to get going on these banners here. So far, <laughs> when I logged off earlier, hi, Miss Jen. Uh, when I logged off earlier, I had ironed my squares this way. And they halfway through, I was like, oh, no, it's this way. <laughs> so I had to re-iron all of them. And now I have them the right way. <laughs> Which is funny because that happened the first time, too. <laughs> that happened the first time I made those batch of banners. And I had to redo it. So, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the way you want to do it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down. Oh, yeah. Need it. Let's see. I need to sew. I need to sew a line down one of the sides. It doesn't matter what side. Okay. Now, Elisa, what I need you to do. came to visit and so of course I'm gonna put her to work. Put her to work. Put her to work. So you need to cut off the thread. Okay. Just on the ends. I don't care about the rest. It's covered in threads. Okay, that's gonna ask you. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to snip this little corner right here, not hitting stitch. the stitches. Okay. And um, on this is it this side? Hang on. Yeah, no, it's just that side. Okay, just that side. So and just cutting it on one. Yeah, just a little corner. Oh, my trash is usually <laughs> right <laughs> here. Cover your hand thread. Okay, she's, she's sitting where my trash can normally is. I was about to put it in her lap. Okay, so then we need to turn it inside out. Okay. Okay. And then using this little tool thing, which is it's like a little stylus. I can't, I can't remember what this is called. What we're gonna do is you're gonna put it inside and you're gonna help guide the tip out. Oh, I see. You know, I have done it too hard and you can go through. So just soft, softly, get the tip out like that. Okay, and then you see where I sewed? Oh, it's okay. You see this line? Yeah. I'll have, uh, maybe I'll tell you, because it's obvious to me, but then I'm thinking about the <laughs> line where I sewed it, it's all sewn lines. But the so one long line. stitch that I made, you want to put this line here, matching the fold. Okay. And then you want to iron it. Whew, all right, let's see if I remember all of <laughs> I was going to have her do one thing, but then I was like, oh, she could do two and things. Then... Okay. So now iron it. Just want to make sure that this line and you do a match oh, with this is the fold. Okay, so the fold. And then Start fold here. it right here. Okay. And then put that in all the places over there. You might want to switch hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> like, silly. <laughs> you might want to switch hands. There. I don't know if I need clips. I'm thinking here. Hi, Miss Patricia. Hi, Miss Letitia. What's going on, you guys? Let 
me and Miss Lisa went to sushi and I'm so good. All you can eat uh, spicy garlic tuna. You and that spicy garlic tuna. It was extra spicy today. Was it? It was so good. <laughs> my stomach is so true. That's why I had to keep talking because every time I stop talking, the burn just intensified. I'll cut it to three. Do you think this is enough, or how many times should I? I mean, it's flat is flat. That's fine. Wait, over here, maybe. Turn it around and well, look. Yeah, see this yeah. right here. I'm gonna just hold the iron there for like a second. Okay, I'm gonna cut the two for you. Now you get overwhelmed. <laughs> just want you to do one thing, and then and then do this, and then that, and then this. And you just take over. And then just like finish the whole wall for me with banners. <laughs> just, just like last finish step the whole thing. Hang all the banners. Yeah, yeah, last step is make the rest of the banners. <laughs> Cheryl, hi Cheryl. Sorry if you can't see where I'm sewing. I'm just sewing a straight line, but I don't have my lights out. Because my husband is going to go to work and I don't want to baby trap him. <laughs> this one's not that right? Yeah, that's the one I need you to turn it inside out. Oh, okay. So what are we doing with the finished ones? Uh, just go in there. Turn it inside out. Uh -huh. Inside out. And then where's the... What are we do with it? Tool. So what do you call it? Um, tool caddy. Trying to be organized. Okay, so here I go. Push it out with your finger first. As much as possible? Yeah, as much as possible. She's a veterinarian, so she's used to this motion. Taking <laughs> <laughs> home. It's usually a cow. <laughs> Do you treat cows? I don't know. You've never, like, handled a cow? Not since school, no. What was the biggest animal? She's a veterinarian assistant, Technician, right? yeah. It's a tech. Veterinarian yeah. tech. So, what's the biggest animal you've, like, taken care of? A horse. A horse? But in school. <laughs> oh, yeah. what, did, what did they make you do with the horse? Oh, we just had to practice bandages and reach Oh, out. yeah. And how not to get stuck. And not how not to get kicked. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what you don't, don't do. Not to turn my legs. Okay, I'm not sure how to turn them. You'll get there. Then you see the tip of the cream. Yeah, I just keep being like, don't. It, it, took me, it took me a little bit don't of force. Push through. It took me a little bit of force to go through it. I, I pushed it. I, <laughs> I recognize that now. So is that okay, or do you want it out more? Yes. This is how I go through it. I can never tell until I start to keep, keep going. It's a little thick, so maybe that's why it's not like coming out exactly to a point. But you know what? I'm just gonna say good enough. So it's, okay, so you see the seam. And line up the seam. Seam with the with this line here. And you already cut the stitching? Yeah, that, that's what I did to make at that point. So you hold it here with your left hand. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> my other left hand. Iron the tip first. I am left-handed, so my left hand is right. Oh, you're left-handed? Yeah. Since when? <laughs> Since yesterday. Since just yesterday? That's amazing. Just decided one day. Uh, this is like somebody's birthday. I know, who's birthday? Miss Lori. Hi, Lori. Happy to see you. Happy birthday to you, Miss Lori. Gotta get the you just gotta get the motion. This one can go pretty good. Just do it. Okay. These scissors are great, they're from Amazon. And I think 
I swear when I bought them, they were cheaper because I lost them. And I tried to buy a second pair and I was like, oh, that's expensive. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I'll wait till like, I buy those scissors. <laughs> I think they're like seven dollars. Oh, Man, I wish you would have bought more when I, I was like, oh. I bet I can't remember how much they cost. I was just like, that's a lot. But I lost them for like six months. They were un these they were under a pile of clothes in the in bed. What? You already closed these. This one too. This one's done, right? Yeah, that one's okay. flat. 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 Okay. They, these are looking adorable. I'll show you the work Miss Lisa has done. Can, can you have this? Yeah. I cannot understand that you are left handed. That just doesn't make any sense. One of those people. What? My brother's that way too. Baffled by it, trying to make us lefties righties. So I'm these. The pattern on these is actually, I mean, I just made it up and down, you know, like, but when I turn it into the banner shape, look how they look like, it looks like a freaking crystal, like I did a lot of work. I, I just love the way. And in the video that I'm following, they actually have you put this part in the inside like that, but that causes too many bumps because this is patchwork. So I'm, I've just been cutting it off. So actually, I can probably that I've been promising banner shaped things and I keep just showing you squares. <laughs> I was telling them like if I did one by one, I could probably um show you a triangle by now. <laughs> Believe me that it's gonna be a triangle. That's what I could. Big enough. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this part off, which again, in the tutorial that I followed, they keep it on. But then I use, I use these to make other patchworks. So I've been keeping these triangles. And then look, it's a banner. Banner shape appears finally. Ta-da! The third episode of Banners, and you finally get to see a banner. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that... Um, yeah, it's, it's just majestic. It really is. Okay. Here's another one. Ooh, that one looks cool. Oh, that that looks one. I did it. I mean, I didn't do them that way. They're just, you know, regular. But when you put them this way... That's the back of it. That's the regular way. And it just magic happens. I'm not, I, I didn't do very good at math, so I don't know what theory this is. <laughs> I don't know what triangular theory this is following. But I love it. I could do it this way, but somehow... Yeah, every time you flip it over, it's just like, oh, that's what I'm beautiful. saying. I'm like, what? I didn't expect them to be that beautiful. Okay, this one, you got the scissors so you can yes. sift that little corner. You getting the hang of it? Yeah, I think so. All right, let me get you to doing the next. <laughs> let me show you how to sew seam uh, bias tape. <laughs> so cut right before the last stitch, right? Yeah, right before the first stitch. I mean, I guess if it's your last, my first, that stitch, yes. That, that's that one, that one. Right particular there. Whatever <laughs> number you're counting. That one. Okay. Cheryl says, I have a vintage lace panel valance. Oh my God, that's a good word. In craft room with a second rod for vintage hankies clipped across. But I'm definitely ready for a change. Thank you, Daisy. I will keep the lace and top. Ooh. And if you see the video, I linked it down in the description. It's actually, I, I have watched many banner videos now. <laughs> now I feel like an expert on banner me. <laughs> now that I've made a hundred of them. Um, the video that I 
put down in the description is the easiest way of pressure welcome to explore your options. It's just other videos for like, oh, use a template. And I'm like, what? I don't, I don't want to. So this way, I just turn a, a rectangle, a square. <laughs> what shape are we talking about? It's a square. I turn a square into a triangle. Real, real quick in just three days. <laughs> just three days. What we, we got it done. Just that quick. <laughs> Pass me the blue scissors, please. There you go. Okay, I think this is gonna want you to double check the tip. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not falling for that one again. <laughs> I might have fell for that at a nightclub one time, <laughs> but not again. <laughs> okay, no, that looks good. It looks good. It looks nice. You're getting better. Now you can get hired as a seamstress instead. I just, just need a sister. You know what? Food. You look like you would be a great person to make dog accessories. Hey. Like dog coats. Don't act like you wouldn't love to make a dog coat. For my dog. The, that's, a, that's where it starts. <laughs> that's where it starts. I, I'm just saying that because I saw somebody make a video and they made, um, they bought like old quilts and they turned those quilts into like a jacket for herself oh. and a matching jacket for her dog. That's like, cute. shut up. You're telling me you don't want a matching jacket for you and your dog. Don't lie. Maybe with Disney. So I know. It would be good. What other dog am I talking about? That awkward chest, like that deep chest, where she's like, she looks like she'd be a small Don't body. And she's <laughs> her. Why are you? You got that shape? awkward looking chest. So rude. Talk about so. She's like that somebody else's chest. In between size, she's like a small and a half. But <laughs> how old is she again? She's not even. Is she a year yet? Yeah, she's about a year and a half. She's probably for. What, 10, going on 10 months now? Almost a year. Why how does time fly so far? No, not even 10 months. It's been nine months. I was going to say time flies. Time flies. I kind of freaking talk. Saw that. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> that's what I do. Square patchwork and triangles quicker to be presented to you. Yes. That's what I felt after a while. That was actually the first video that I watched on banners. And then every other video after that, I was like, oh, that's a lot more complicated. I'm not doing that. Because whenever I do something, I literally have to watch like 50 videos <laughs> before I decide how I'm going to do it. And then even then, I like mix and match. And it might be a disaster or it might turn out really good. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> It only took me three days to get to this. Did you have these? No, I haven't. Okay, okay, just checking because I was going to like go <laughs> Stockpiling. Okay, that's good. So I work at your pace. But I do need these done by 10 o'clock. <laughs> 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 you better have them done by 10 or you're fired, I swear. The clock's ticking, people. Yeah, you better get to it. I just got to remember which end to cut. Okay. Uh, don't tell me now 50 batters in, you messed up. <laughs> okay, don't tell me. I'd rather you ask me, I'd rather you would have asked me 10 batters ago, but I will allow this. <laughs> you guys, she's not a very good employee. I'll just <laughs> she's not. You haven't fed me yet. Oh, I haven't fed you. Did you try those cookies yet? No. Mm, I ate two when I got home. I was letting my stomach chill out. I couldn't. <laughs> I, I had, I'm getting old and so like I have to wait before I take a nap, before, after I eat. I can't just go to bed anymore. I have to let my stomach digest. So that's why I was like, I'm not going to eat anything else. <laughs> I had not had to digest. I normally drink like mint tea, but it's just so dang hot to drink a tea. Oh, I've been craving mint tea. You want one? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. I still have some packets. It's not fresh uh, mint tea. Oh no, I want to go pick good. some mint. Oh, you want me to go plant some go mint? Plant it, pick it, wow. keep it. That is the best way, though. 
It really That's is. the way I would I would I missed I missed my old studio because right outside uh mid grew. Oh, oh nice. So I would pick it, clean it, and then just steep it with some black tea and make some mint tea. That's fresh. It's so good. So Sometimes add some like, blueberries to it. You know what I miss, and I can't, I don't know why I may not have to buy it online. I can't find lemongrass tea. Anymore. No, absolutely. I bought it at Walmart, and then they stopped some for mm -hmm. some reason. Probably because I started buying it and enjoying I find it, it and, and I'm loving it. Buy it in bulk for you. And do like a hundred boxes. I was gonna say maybe in Chinatown, or maybe I could just order it online. Yeah, you probably order it online. And I actually never had fresh lemongrass till. Not too long ago, lemongrass tea is so good fresh. You know, the other, I was going to say the other day, but it's been like a while. I mm. bought some uh, cinnamon tea. It was not good. It was just like Because I'm used to, I, I didn't realize that it would taste so old. Yeah. I'm used to just brewing up some cinnamon sticks and then drinking it. Yeah. It tasted old. Yeah, I've never had cinnamon tea like for our Christmas tea, but I always add cinnamon sticks to my tea bowl. That's a great idea. Yeah. I just stopped this would be more convenient. It's just like red hot. No, I it just tasted. I was at a spice store the other day and it's smelling all the different spices of teas and they had cinnamon teas and they just, they just tasted like, or they smelt like red hot. On the description, it even said afterwards, red hot. Like that's what it smells like. Well, then... There's different kinds of tea, different kinds of cinnamon, mm -hmm. and the one from China is spice. And then they have, then there's one that I think they grow in Sri Lanka called, um, Where do I put the, what the heck is it called? Completed one. So you've already cut. Um, okay. And I'll put them back here. But Ceylon, that's what it's called. Ceylon. If you get Ceylon cinnamon, it's sweet. Sweet? Yeah, you have to get Ceylon. It tastes sweet. Cinnamon is sweet. That's the kind I put in my... Um, I love it in my oatmeal. It, ta it, ta makes, my, it makes my oatmeal taste like arroz con leche. Your oatmeal? Yeah! Give me the recipe. Yeah. But you have to have Ceylon cinnamon. That's what makes it. Or I will not give you the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, don't think I, have I will not give you the recipe. Dragon fruit tea is good. I've never had dragon fruit. I don't know if I have either. Maybe from. Do you know what dragon fruit looks like? Yeah. It's just crazy. Oops, I cursed. Mm -hmm. That stuff Dang, is crazy. <laughs> you are a bad influence. I, You're I, not cursing? I but say, just look at it. Look, it actually makes me want to curse. <laughs> That's good why. for an hour. Sorry, y'all. Told me what hour? Sorry, I literally haven't cursed on my channel in like three years. You can't be. You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm sorry, this is not working out at all for me. <laughs> for me. It's <laughs> also for me. I love jasmine tea so. Jasmine tea. I don't think I've really had strong. jasmine tea, but jasmine smells good. It smells good. Jasmine smells good. I kind of think I've had jasmine tea. That's really interesting. So I'm big on like infusing different teas. So jasmine teas, black teas, green teas, oolong, all of them with other fruits or spices. I need more bobbin. Oh, there's this chamomile and vanilla honey tea. That's mm. so good. So I don't know why I'm literally like obsessed with just like mint tea. <laughs> I'm with you. I've been I've been That's on a like, kick with mint tea. I've been trying my to feel like it. it. It soothes my stomach and it tastes delicious. But ever since I left my I moved out of my studio, I don't have that fresh mint anymore. So all the bad mint teas just don't they don't taste the same. You the get so spoiled with fresh things sometimes. Yeah. Like it took me a while to realize I don't like frozen salmon. It tastes so it's watered so down. <laughs> it tastes like it has it's salmon plus fifty percent salmon, fifty percent water. That's the yeah. taste. Adrian's been on a salmon, frozen salmon kick. And it's not my favorite, but we've been spicing it up and it tastes pretty good. 
yeah, this Cajun, Cajun spice or, or mix. But I'm okay, I'm okay, okay with mix. frozen tilapia. <laughs> Not a big fan of frozen fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it too too often. So that's a moral. But no, I just get fresh salmon. And you know what? My mom always just put it in the oven and just baked it with uh, garlic salt. Just like some garlic salt on top. No, I feel like that tastes so bad. Just some garlic salt and butter. And then my cousin, I went to my cousin's house one day and she made it and she pan fried it. And I hated it. Really? It tasted That's so always fishy. Oh, it does taste it fishy. It tasted That's why so we use a lot fishy. of butter and garlic. I was like, <laughs> When I cook it for Adrian, which I don't cook it very often because I'm not a big salmon fan, I don't like this. I was like, I've never had salmon I don't like, but then again, the only salmon I liked is my mom's salmon. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tasted pan fried, and I was like, no, I don't like this. I didn't know that it would taste different. But it does. And I didn't like it. <laughs> I love adding slices of ginger to my tea. Oh, yes. yes. There was this time, this moment in time. It hasn't happened since. But I was, like, obsessed with ginger tea. I would throw in, like, a pound of ginger to a big old Ooh. pot of water. It was so spicy. I That's crazy. I've never been that big a fan of ginger, but uh, I think ginger and tea is delicious. It was just it was all so ginger. Spicy. And Mike was like, I don't even know how to drink that. It's so spicy. Okay, what is happening? My sister has this ginger sugar and those oatmeal cookies, like she was telling you today, she, she sprinkled them on the cookies when we took them out of the oven. Uh -huh. So she put ginger, um, ground ginger in the cookie dough and then sprinkled the sugar on top. I don't think I've ever had homemade oatmeal cookies. They're really good. I've never, now I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, wait a minute. So I don't know how you're feeling. I like the oatmeal flavor, like the oatmeal ones by themselves. We did some with dark chocolate chips. I'm thinking that the chocolate just overwhelms the, all the spices in there and the oatmeal flavor, like the oaty flavor. Yeah. You still have that like texture of the oats. So you're it. saying it's not good? It's, well, I mean, it's, it's good, it's, but it uh, tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. Oatmeal doesn't oatmeal. taste like anything. It's like the, but the vanilla, vanilla yeah, that you the add, cinnamon, and the ginger, and the, the fake flavors they add, whatever mix it is. No, we made it all by scratch. I know. Oh. I'm just saying that's why your stuff will never taste right like the oatmeal cookies you have in the store because they add all sorts yeah. of flavoring that you just it's not natural. So you can never get that little Debbie taste whenever you want to. I'm sitting here like I'm sitting here like oatmeal cookies just taste like vanilla. They just have the texture. Oh, of oats. Taste, you can taste the ginger. Go eat them right now. Well, I believe you, but I'm, yeah. just, I'm discussing other <laughs> What is happening? It was going good, and then Elisa showed up. That's all I know. Distraction. That's the one two equation we're putting together. Tomorrow you're gonna be moshing in a mosh pit. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll be just ready to call 911. I'm too short. Put me on a high net. They will toss me across the Fremont Street experience. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll just get on the zip line. We'll be above the crowd. I've always wanted to go on that zip line. Oh, God. It's above the crowd. I know it's not dangerous, because but you, like. I don't even know which. I, I don't know exactly where the. Uh, concert we, be. Well, it's there's only like three stages. So that is the third one. So if it's by the zipline, that's a, that's a great idea. Actually, we should get yeah, zipline to get take a video of you from, from the ground. Uh, Mike's cousin came. Uh, I don't know. It's been a, I guess it's been a couple months. And I don't know. One second she wanted to get on the zipline, and then we got there, and she's like, I don't want to get on the zipline. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> you just walked all the way over here, but oh, okay. <laughs> you maybe walk all the way over here. Well, I, I don't want to get on the girl. I'm on a skydive. Skydiving is, is ama an amazing experience. Just, life is just dangerous enough. Without 
jumping out of it. I mean, I admire you're like, a tandem, so you're I not admire you. to talk to some, to somebody. And they prepare you. They're like, all right, so this is what you do. You tuck and you're going to roll out. But you really don't do anything Girl. when you're tandem. Like that, the person, the expert just pretty much rolls you out of the plane. Like you don't Girl. have a choice. You can't back out once Girl, you're at that point. I'm going to need a diaper. <laughs> I'm going to need a diaper and an extra change of pants when I land. Like I don't I mean, know. Regret not being able to breathe. You cannot. You can never convince me to go. Catch your skydiving. That's insane. Once they pull the line and parachute releases, that's when you catch your breath. Girl. <laughs> also, you jump with an instructor like on your back type thing. Yeah. You jump yeah. by yourself. No, 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 I haven't. The, now there's so many regulations. You have to jump so many times with tandem before you can. I don't know. Jump what does tandem your... mean? With, what? With an what are, I'm not a skydiving <laughs> expert. What are you talking about? to somebody else, so you don't have control. But once they release it and you're just kind of gliding down or floating down, they let you kind of play with the direction of <laughs> You're not parachute. convincing me very much here. And when we went, it was it was um, <coughs> at sunset over Phoenix. Was it hot? It was no. Well, was it hot? No, we went in January, so it was nice. But it was beautiful sunset. That's crazy. I just I don't know. One day, Daisy, you're gonna change your mind, and I don't I'm gonna. Be I don't know. Out. I don't. I don't think so. All the all the stuff my parents went through to get me to this country, and you want me to jump <laughs> out of a plane? I'm not asking you to move to Mississippi. I'm just asking you to jump out of a plane. You can still come. Home. Oh, just jump <laughs> out of a plane, girl. No, stop. That's not gonna happen. Unless there's a million dollars involved. <laughs> don't even look. At all right, well, if I ever get an extra million dollars. If you ever get a million dollars, I remember you said that. All, all of your followers are hearing you say this. Oh, God. If she gets a million dollars, I swear. <laughs> I will be so mad. It will be the maddest, happiest day. <laughs> 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 yeah, work for that money. I love you, but you get to jump out of a plane. That's insane. Well, well, you got an air balloon, Daisy. I think I went. That's Are you that crazy? Is so fun. You know how many air balloon accidents there's been? Well, now I won't. <laughs> I put that on the list of no. Never mind. She's <laughs> trying to talk me out of skydiving. How talk me into skydiving, skydiving and out of ballooning. I don't know what. Air balloon. Hot air I don't balloon. know how you measure danger. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I would, I would go on a high air balloon, too. It looks like fun. It looks a little bit more stable. But also, there's fire above my head. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, the last uh, accident I heard of. <laughs> if the last one was pretty enough. In the sky, involved with I think I would. I think I would. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, River City Creative. Welcome. Welcome to the Daisy and Elise show. Welcome. <laughs> Her new assistant. <laughs> Oh yeah, I met Elisa in middle school back in my hometown. Seventh grade, eighth grade? I think it's seven. It was seven. I think it was seven. We had a going away party for Daisy at Taco Bell before she moved. Why don't I not remember that? Why I don't you know about? why you don't remember that. We gave you a card, everything. All of what are you friends talking about? Card. I've never been to Taco Bell with you in my life. What are you talking about? We bring back to school, Daisy. Girl. I remember a lot of things. It's okay. She's not important to you. You're anymore. making stuff up. I see. Not a Taco Bell party. <laughs> Girl, what are you talking about? And then she left the. I was a child. And then I moved out here a couple years later. <laughs> I was a child. I don't a remember no Taco Bell you don't goodbye remember. party. Who else was there? Drea. That's how I know you're lying. No, Drea. No. Yeah, the other, both the Andreas. Both the Andreas. Colleen was there. <coughs> oh, you don't even remember. What that. are you talking about? Uh, who else? There was two people there. All I'm saying. Did you like All I'm saying is, how do I not know what you're talking about? Which side did you have this side about? Did you like have this party with that one? No. <laughs> what? It's probably like the Taco Bell dollar menu party. Well, I'm sure we were children. <laughs> None of us had money. 
What are you talking about? If I ask the Treyas and they don't know what what you're talking about, I'm gonna investigate. Maybe you should. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I don't remember it properly. It's possible. It's also possible. I don't remember. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just I think it's so more don't remember that you don't remember that I'm like questioning who you even are as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Is her name really Elisa? Because I thought it was Alyssa till five years ago. I mean, to be fair, (laughs) that is my mother's mom. Anyways, we're not gonna get into that. I tried to to tell you that that's not your name, and you don't want to. I know. How many of my friends say, "Oh, that's not your name," but it is. You know what? I still love you guys, and I'm still here. I I don't know. I just don't like. How that went down. <laughs> how my mom named me? No, how your mom called me out after like 20 years of knowing you. <laughs> I didn't know your name. I've always known my name. I, I will I knew your name. introduce myself and say, hi, I'm Alisa. And somebody will respond, oh, okay, Alyssa. It's like, how do you, how do you hear? What do you hear? You never corrected me <laughs> over 20 years. I have. Okay, so stop. Absolutely have. You did not. I just gave up after a while. <laughs> Letitia says, Daisy gonna give you a new name. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I swear I said it one time when we were children and she didn't say anything. And so I just kept going on with this lie. <laughs> For years. For decades. <laughs> For decades. Gave up on my name. And then one day I No, like, you no. gave up on your name. You didn't correct me. You should have corrected me every time. And now I have to I have to sit here and like re-traumatize myself to remember what your name is. <laughs> Every time I'm like, wait, did I say it correctly? Is her mom gonna slap me? Like <laughs> my good dinner called me Alyssa like three times and then said Elisa, so I was like, I know you know my name. Like you just said it. <laughs> but I didn't correct him because I love you guys so much. Your family. You see, that's what you, you did call to me, me as a child. You want. And then your mom got mad. She doesn't get mad. Really, what it is is that she beats herself up for spelling it like Alyssa, and then getting mad at people when they call me Alyssa. Well, who has Alyssa with a U? They call you a Ulysses. <laughs> Nobody spells Alyssa with a U. It's not. How do you think my name is spelled? Girl, I don't know. It's spelled with an A, but you want me to say it with a U, and that's why I don't like you. <laughs> You're fine. Wait, where am I at? Okay, you're gonna say, like, I'm going to mess up your manners. Oh, you're going to mess up my manners. Are you yes, threatening me? Because I will whip up another 200 manners right now. <laughs> I got the supplies. I got it's all, good. all the supplies. It's too much, you guys. It's too much. You two are so funny. <laughs> oh my god 20 years 20 years baby i will never forgive you how come we don't have an anniversary you guys are going on your anniversary date tomorrow well i guess our anniversary is the taco bell party that i don't remember <laughs> spicy potato tacos right now i'm not even hungry let's not go don't even act like you remember what you <laughs> ate that day because you're gonna upset me so much <laughs> that's really so Pretending to know what you no wanted money. that day 20 years ago. Don't start. We were all broke. Don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But you know what's funny? Here's is, I could be like remembering another friend. I'm saying. Party, I, don't know. I feel like we really did this for you. Like- and I remember like we all wrote you a card and we signed it. Do you not remember the card? What? See? I'm grateful. <laughs> I just don't. It, it's happened to me in the, that I just literally don't remember anything about being a child other than being a dork. Just and weird. Being a, a child to, to I like, try not to remember my childhood because I was so weird and dumb. <laughs> you were unique and eccentric. That is so nice. I love That's you. a nice way to describe yeah. it. <laughs> you were always you were really special. You were so special. <laughs> you're always your own person, no matter what. <laughs> oh my god. No, because look, one time I went to Fry's. You remember Fry's? Electronics. 
Fries. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was so, like, are you talking about fries, like the food? Or <laughs> I was probably, I think I was 17, 18. So I had just met Mike and we went, so I must have been 17. And I go to fries, and this employee, this girl employee, she's like, Daisy? And I'm like, so, so I'm like, whoa, okay, so I must have gotten married already, because I was like, whoa, what do you mean? Why are you, I don't, I didn't know who this lady was. And she's like, you don't remember me, my girl. I'm like, no. And she's like, I met you in middle school out here. I literally went to middle school out here for six months. I, was gonna say, you I don't remember this school. girl. Yeah. That's crazy. She remembers you. I was like, what, is this some, like, FBI agent, like, I don't know you. How do you know my name? I was like, I'm about to be abducted. Like, I swear, <laughs> I'm about to be abducted. I don't know if it's gonna be yeah, human or an alien, but I'm about to be yeah, abducted. And I'll show you pictures of us from middle school. I was like, how? I was so freaked out. I was so freaked out. <laughs> I was so scared. And I don't know. I still don't know who she was. I, I'm sure she said her name, but I didn't know who she was, so I don't. Her name was. I thought that happened like at the Gallery of Mall out here years ago. One of the girls, uh, I went to, I can't remember. So I can't remember if it was at high school out here because I moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. So I can't remember if it was here or in Oxnard or before that. But just this girl comes up to me and, and says, Hi, and I remember you, and your name's Elisa. And I was like, You look familiar, but I'm sorry, I don't know your name. I always feel bad because I have a pretty decent memory most of the time. Especially when I was younger, I made a point to remember names. Now I, I really don't. I really don't care. <laughs> it, it's not that I don't care. I just don't mean that. Don't. I, I guess I don't because I'm not making effort. <laughs> <laughs> and my boyfriend has to know everybody's name in the story he's telling. He has to name every person he talks to. I can't remember their name. He sits there like baffled about it. Why is he working at a motel? No. <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm like, okay, get on with the story. Get on. He's like, no, I just. It's fine. I can't remember their name. And I'm like, you're just so good. You met this person for 10 seconds. You're just down. so good. I know. Calm you're down. just so good. I usually just makes a point to remember some of these things. It makes people feel important or like they matter. What's up? It's always nice when somebody remembers you. I try because I meet so many people here on my on my channel and online over the years. Uh -huh. I try to like associate people because I have to deal with usernames. That's not really their names, so I have to like associate like oh their their name has a lot of T's, so their name starts with a T. Think about that. <laughs> like, I have to associate the names like that. Yeah, it is a little bit of an name game, but I do sometimes have to be like, I'm sorry. What was your name? What was your name? <laughs> Okay. How are you doing? Good. I realized that this went off, so I'm letting it turn back on and heat back up. Yeah. Oh. I think Pass me it. those ones. Please. I'm not paying Pass you. I'm not paying now. you, so I should pay you. <laughs> I'll walk out. <laughs> I guess I'll see. I guess I still have to see. Imagine. <laughs> You know, one time when I was working at the medical supply store, I love when he worked at that store. It was fun. It was fun. While the boss was there, was cool. while the boss was there, it was fun. <laughs> but um, this one time, one of my coworkers, she gave me something, and she's like, "You know, you grab stuff." I was like, "What are you talking about?" Like when you take it, she's from like, somebody? "Yeah, when you took it from me." She's like, "You grabbed it," and I'm like. Nobody's ever said that in my life. Like, I, I apologize. You're grabby. I was like, do I do that? <laughs> I had her reflect, but I was like, sorry to offend you. I will work on that. <laughs> so it makes you more conscious of it and make the effort. You're like, nah, I just kept grabbing things. In my 20s, I, nobody had ever said that to me in my life. Not my mother. They're afraid of you. And my mother complained about everything I did. But I was like, oh, man. Things are ugly. <laughs> Did you iron these? Well, so I was saying, I think a couple of them may need to be ironed. <laughs> <laughs> are fired. Just pack your things. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this doesn't feel as warm. I'm definitely not paying you. It doesn't feel as 
today. All right. How long is it? Like, let's stay on right now, even though it's not. Yes. Oh, maybe it was on. You left that on the base too long. Is what happened? Oh uh, well. Yeah. Maybe somebody was taking it a little too long. Oh, right somebody. <laughs> says, somebody wasn't doing their job. She says. <sighs> Poor Daisy. She like I don't remember these things. The frustration. I don't remember half of what happened to me in my life. I think. <laughs> Okay, I remember. I'll help you write your memoir. She's she can, she's gonna write my biography. <laughs> I'm gonna like it. <laughs> You'll be like, I never did that. She's gonna tell mm -hmm. you about the taco party. <laughs> I'm gonna write on my grave. I never went to taco party. <laughs> 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 I swear. That's what's yeah, I have no proof of it. So and it's everybody else is in, and only you are gonna know what we're talking about. It's just a figment <laughs> of my imagination. I must have dreamt it. It's possible. I feel like you're lying. <laughs> I feel like you're lying. I feel like I can't trust I'm you. I swear. Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Your problem. <laughs> no, sometimes I wish I didn't remember things. <laughs> then oh, I wouldn't yeah. have brought that up, but you would be here telling me a liar. Wow. Liar. Now, liar? I, see how, now I see why it's stressful. Where are you putting the, where are you putting the finish line? Over here. Over here? Okay. Just for now. Have this nice little pile going on here. I'm just examining her workmanship. It what looks... Jen Ren Scraps asked if I am also crafty and not on the level that Ms. Daisy is, but I always enjoy coming over to her craft studio and just seeing how her crafting has evolved. I've always admired her scrapbooking. She was last time I came over, she was even teaching me Sarah, like, giving me some lessons on the sewing machine which I still have those scraps and I still have not invested in a sewing machine nothing against you it's just that I get, get overwhelmed get I'm like I don't get even out. know no, which I'm sewing simple. machine do I start with like should I just should I just you should like, be an expert level for, by I know it was a year I should just be able to tell you Elisa make me some banners and you should be able to work them out I know <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie these are making me want ice cream they kind of look like ice cream. <laughs> I could eat these. They look so delicious somehow. I just want a waffle cone right now. Oh, you want a waffle cone? You know, there's this uh, ice cream town, ice cream place in Chinatown that we want to go to. It looks like they're open all the time. Oh, yeah. It yeah, was never a big boba fan, but I've been on a boba kid. Coffee, of course. <laughs> Coffee. I boba. still can't get over the bobas. I never really noticed how starchy they are, though. So for <laughs> after a while, I stopped. I'm like, oh, these are starchy. Like, like they're not good for you. Both. <laughs> a sugary drink <laughs> with mysterious yeah. balls what is, is not this? good for slimy, me. Slimy boba balls are not the best. Actually, I after a few, for I don't want them in my drink anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really don't. I get. I always get so light quick. boba. Like, can I just drink my drink? And half the sugar. I'm like, Dan, can we make these drinks a little? Like, this sugar? drink involves too much chewing. <laughs> <laughs> Jen and Scrap says we can't all be scientists like you. Be I know. I so am. right. You experiment a lot. This is really a math scientist of crafting. Thank you. Of scrapbooking. I'm going to make a shirt with that now. Oh, we could. Remember when you'd go to the, and you'd have your booth set up at the first Friday yeah. again? You can do that again. That's fine. I just, I'm so embarrassed in front of actual people, like real people. Why? <laughs> because I just, maybe it's the way I grew up. Maybe it's because I grew up in a cult. But like, I am just Did not you good. A cult? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like not good at like saying yeah, I that I'm good at something. It's hard. It makes me feel I'm very weird. But I'll say it for you. I mean, I'm good at selling. That's things. what Mike I'll... did. That's what my husband did. He was like, hi, she's 
He'd be like hyping up me up, and I'd be like, oh man, I could never. I may not be very crafty like or that. put effort into trying to be crafty, but I can. I'm very good at promoting things. I will be your promoter. You don't right. pay me. You just pay me in food. All right, hired. You're hired. I'll mm -hmm. make this soup. I just sold myself with you, but I can't even write my resume. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll, need to, I'll need I to wrote, see your resume and verify um, your passport. I finally updated my resume. I was like, I feel like I've matured out of the human being. I feel like my, my resume is Resumes awesome. are sure. so weird. But it was really hard. And my so cousin, stressful. So I had my cousin read it. And I thought it was pretty good how I did it, but she reformatted it. And it's excellent. It's like the most professional. <laughs> and I was like, this is mine. And you did this for me. Thank you. That's so nice. I feel like you know? we cheated. And you know what? I, I haven't I haven't made a resume in forever. But you know what the way that I used to try and make like flashy looking resumes is actually like in style now. Back then it was like, why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it is. Why are you, why is there color in your resume? <laughs> my sister I was talking about earlier because I was telling her how my cousin uh, when she re she reformatted for me. So she made it I, I tried to keep it at two pages. Um and the, including my references, and she was like, you know, you don't really have to provide your references unless they're asked for. Yeah, that's what you do. On and I was like, oh, okay, well, I just got so in the habit of doing it. She's like, also, you don't need to put your high school. And I was just like, really? I, I was, have. I can't. I can't tell you the last time we made a resume. Yeah. So I, I mean, I kept it on there just out of habit, but she did look very nice. I just kept it on there because she I've made had, all in one page. I just kept it on there because I've had this template saved since nineteen. <laughs> I used to like to make them look all fun and different, and now I'm just like, <laughs> I don't write it at all. Oh my god. I promise I'm good at what I do. Miss Zena, hi Miss Zena. Yes, I have a friend over. I have my middle school friend, Elisa. Can you frame me as your middle school friend? Like, we haven't grown and we're not in our 30s. I have I'm a 12 years senior old. in 20 years. <laughs> I have a senior in 20 years. I got her. I put her to work. Of course, she, nobody comes to my house and stays here for free. You gotta <laughs> earn your keep. You want some water? You gotta earn your keep. Yeah, that's gonna cost you. you. Gonna that's gonna cost you twenty. You want ice? Oof. That's gonna cost you ten completed yeah. banners. <laughs> gonna hang those banners for that ice. Okay. Okay. How was your gig, Ms. Zena? Ms. Zena, she's like, a, she sings. She does like weddings and she goes to like the fanciest places. Oh, really? Yeah, they always look so fancy. All the, good, all the good weddings, you know? The good ones. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm reading the comments. Excuse me, but <laughs> oh yeah, Miss Jen. I forget. I forget sometimes. I'm sorry, Miss Jen. <laughs> I forget. I like to pretend like Miss Jen isn't in charge, but she's so sweet. I feel like I already did this, and I get an extra iron, but I'm enjoying this. It's very calming. We were just okay. talking about it earlier, and Jen was saying that this is relaxing, and I'm like, I have oh, a hot metal in front of my fingers. I'm like, this is not relaxing. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to burn my skin. You're all like, put your finger right here. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm like, this is, this is not relaxing. I'm clumsy. I'm saying this is fun, but it's not it's relaxing. I don't think. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> sharp bleeds next to my fingers. Oh. So soothing. Well, because you're you didn't have to uh, you didn't have to sew any less. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't iron it the wrong way, and then had to iron it again. That's like, that's true. <laughs> and that's it all shows. I and it shows. <laughs> and also, this isn't your your one uh, hundredth better. <laughs> 
<laughs> you got a little banner thing. Oh, 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 I didn't even show you guys the banners. I took them off the wall. Oh my gosh. So, bad news. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo them again, I think. Oh, I don't know if I like the lace, you guys. I just don't know. So, this is the banners I've made so far. They were on my wall. <laughs> I made my husband put them on the wall, take them off the wall. <laughs> the place is so pretty. So this is all the batters. Look, look at all this. This is all the batters I've made. I, so I added lace, but I don't like the way when it folds like this, you see how it, it like pinches, it's not smooth. So the issue is <laughs> I sewed it pretty much along the line that I sewed the actual banner. So I'm either going to have, I'm going to have to either see if I like it on the wall. I'm going to have to play with it. After that, I will decide if I'm going to spend <laughs> seven days to take the lace off. So I'm trying to give it all the time in the world. It also looks like fancy women's underwear. <laughs> it does. When you I, first pulled it out, I was like, dang, you're making a bottle. Don't, don't, don't agree with me. Don't agree with me. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful underwear you've seen in it's your life on a string. <laughs> on a, on a I wear it. <laughs> don't make me get into a new business. Stop. Stop. Because you will do all the work. <laughs> So again, I'm going to play with it on the wall again and see if I can get it to lay properly. If not, I'm going to have to rip out the, see if I can rip out the, the, the lace because I tried to sew it on the same line as the banner. So that's the dilemma I've come across. Uh, it looked good laid out. But then, like I said, when I put it on the wall and I it goes like this, it just doesn't look right. But I'm going to play with it. Um, I was pinning it like every five banners. And I think I like it every ten. Kind of hangs lower. You but I, I still don't know. <laughs> You're only going to put the lace every ten? <clears throat> no, I mean like I would pin it every oh, ten banners so that it would kind of droop. Okay. I was doing it at five and I didn't like it. So I'm thinking if I do it at 10, yeah, well, I'll like it. Like before you so I'm going to figure it out first. About the seam. <laughs> I get rid of the, the lace. But yeah, I've already done a lot of flipping work to, to get to the point where I'm like, I'm going to undo all this work. Anyways, back to the ones that we're making. And I still have it. Look, I still have it attached <laughs> to the lace. <laughs> it might make your hubby happy. Yeah, he. We'll see. I might make myself a pair of underwear. I don't. Hey. Okay. You might so, um, something. All I'm saying is I that make you myself, make a profit off of that, I did help you come up with that. I might <laughs> start the Patrick bikini. I don't know. The Patrick bikini trend. I'm going to trademark it. Let's model it. You will be the model. <laughs> you will you definitely, definitely have to be the model. We can go model it at Fremont Street. Come on. All right, cake plans. We're making underwear. Officially, Taurus, you know, they like to drink and buy cookie things. Girl, you're obviously the salesperson. I'm, I'm telling you, we'll make it work. Make some money. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Look, Elisa, I made your first pair. <laughs> this is your first. You, this is what you need to model. Yeah. So I hope it's enough. And it's only. <laughs> It's only one side. <laughs> we can make it like a loincloth style, so like a it's longer only piece gonna in cover the back, and then just like that that the lace on so the side. Are you gonna cover the front or the back? Because you only cover the back. <laughs> <laughs> one. Only enough fabric for one side. <laughs> we'll make it work. Can I have a little lace then to go with it? She said she's gonna think about it. <laughs> you can need a little lace. I it. cannot. No. No, that's it. That's the trend we're starting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just, just, yeah. I 
I gotta wake, wake Mike up in 15 minutes. <laughs> I see him. He's probably up there like, I can hear you guys. Probably. It's true. It's probably true. Okay. <clears throat> Surprisingly, the next step is pretty easy, but I'm going to attempt to do it today. Be here all night. <laughs> Dang, I'm hot, yo. It's freaking hot. You're hot. I'm the one using the iron. You're the one closest to the iron. It's getting a little warm in here. Well, you have a you sweater have a on. on. It's, it's a Why do you have a sweater on? It's like a hundred degrees. It's so loose that when you're making all you can eat sushi. Just and looking like, at you, really hot. Like, why are you wearing a sweater? Wait, loose hands, loose shirt. Okay, that's what you do when you go to all you can eat. I'm not gonna wear tight pants and a short shirt and go to all you can eat sushi and feel like a blob. <laughs> well, if you wear the same outfit, I feel more comfortable in my leggings. I'm not like, grub. I have no problem with you wearing sushi. I'm just saying, why are you still wearing it? <laughs> why are you still wearing it? Because I just never changed. That's the question. I felt when I laid on the couch for a second after I got back to my mom's. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling tired. And then I grabbed a blanket. And then I realized, why did I grab this blanket? It was 100 degrees outside. I'm yeah, wearing you a long are, This is my California girl. You're not in California no more. Yeah, look crazy. Jen said it does look like underwear now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it does. But Trisha said maybe you can pleat it. Maybe it would curve it. I'm not going to pleat. No lace. That sounds like too much. That sounds like a step too far. <laughs> Maybe I'll expand that with there. Did I do <sighs> that? seems like too much. That <laughs> just seems like too much. But also ripping out all that lace <laughs> seems like too much. Yeah, this is too much. You already quite but a bit of it. Honestly, that that's part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> The fun. <laughs> I'm telling you, sewing is like, especially patchwork, it's like we sew it, then we iron it open. And then we sew it, and then we iron it open again. <laughs> and then we tear it apart, and then we sew it, and we iron it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, when you taught me last time, I cannot repeat now. I'm sure. It takes time to get used to things. I mean, it's just like driving. If you only drive with one tie, you'd be like, oh. Uh, Pro, we tie it Yeah. Mom was like, okay, you want to drive? We're at a stoplight. She's like, all right, let's change spots. <laughs> Gets out of the car. Oh, no. It's like, what? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, I still remember your mom freaking out at me because you got into an accident and I was trying to drive and I was like, lady. Oh, yeah. I was like, I lady. Know, she's being crazy. I was like, I'm not the one who got into an accident. I know. But <laughs> like, you calm down. But she was scared. She was. Yeah. You messed up. <laughs> yeah. You really messed up that day. I still remember you trying to justify it, and I'm like, girl, I don't know why you're even trying to pretend that car sped up, but you, girl, it did. To this day, she's like, that car sped up. No, it didn't. Girl, you didn't. You should have waited. You didn't have to ride away. You should have waited. So true. So true. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay, whatever you want to think. <laughs> that was like, but now after uh, thinking about it, I was like, you should have waited. That's how I feel. No, I should have. I mean, we were kids. Whatever. It happens. <laughs> to be fair, my car would have accelerated, accelerated properly, and it wasn't an old podunk car. It and probably, if you would have waited, I, I would have made it. But if I would have waited, that would have been the best choice. If I had a seatbelt busted, I would have made it. <laughs> right? All our old cars. <laughs> Cheryl, bye Cheryl. She's still like, I would have made it. I, I would have made it. 
Oh my god, gracious. I think they're a little tougher because you got you going or stitches going different directions. So I'm just gonna assume this is, this is the bottom. Okay. That's so like right here? Stick, yeah. Okay. Before that's before that one. Oh wait, you wanna look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Do I wanna look at that one? Yeah, you might not. Oh. Okay. If there's any mistakes, I'm gonna blame you. Okay. You gave me it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I will sue you. <laughs> <laughs> I am not afraid. Oh, you got the scissors, please? Oh, yeah. Let me grab this off. Did I grab them? I'm sorry. Oh, it's snatchy. Did I snatch them? That's actually the most gentle. I've literally been, like, really aware of that ever since she said that, because I was like, it, like, shook me to my core, because I've never been said that. the most gentle exchange of hands I've ever Nobody had ever said that to me in my life. Jen says she got seven in paper pad that Michael's went crazy. What themes did they have? Did they have Halloween and Christmas yet? Because I will go with it versus. I will go and look and see at what pads I will buy the day after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'll start picking them out now. <laughs> There's just nothing like a good after Christmas cups. After holidays, though, it's always Dang. fun to shop. But then I realize, like, as I'm grabbing all these things, like, where am I going to store all this? Because I don't, I don't have storage bins like this. <laughs> and then I put it all back. Oh, I love shopping and I'm putting stuff back. That's like half. That's like exactly <laughs> every every time they're shopping. My sister and we go together. My baby sister, we're bad. Like we'll load up a cart and then at the end, be like, okay, okay. reality check. No, I don't want to pay. Like how much of this can we really afford? She's like, okay, who's gonna pay for this? <laughs> you got this, right? Oh my goodness, you're silly. Let's get this here. craft stores like I want everything in the first five minutes and then I end up with like one thing at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Back in the days Michaels used to be so good with their coupons that they would like let you like say I have a 40% off coupon. I have three things. They would just scan the coupon three times. Oh, wow. And I'm sure they were like, somehow they found out and they're like, oh, no, we're losing money. <clears throat> and so then they were like, oh, no, one coupon per one time use. There was a couple times when I was like, oh, yeah, I have 50 cousins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my family. I got 50 cousins I can call up right now to use 50 coupons. <laughs> One item for Christmas. There was one time where I did call up my aunt and I was like, Dia, I was like, can you come over here and help with your kids and help me buy some stuff? <laughs> <laughs> she sure showed up. That's how you know. That's how you know. It's real time. <laughs> my grandma used to make me do that when I was a kid and then go grocery shopping with her. Like, she would have a cart and I would have a cart. And then there would be like separate transactions so she could use those coupons. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. And then they yeah, cut yeah. it. Like you couldn't double your coupons anymore. Like my grandma was one of those extreme couponers. Oh, she was a couponer. Oh man, I would have to go through her coupons like once a month and pull out all the expires and see buy it. I was so good at it too. I wish I'd pay more attention though because she was so good at it. But I, I kind well, of lost interest. The couponing rules of her days are gone. They yeah, they change really everything. Are. Once she was they know those, people oh, yeah. are getting a good deal, they're like, oh. Cut that. She was one of those customers that she would spend, she would have like $350 tally at the end, and they would end up owing her after her coupon. Oh, she was That one happened of those. a couple of times. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Oh, she was one of those, you owe me. Alisa. Alisa with an A. <laughs> Alisa. <laughs> <laughs> Alisa. 
It's Alyssa, but she pronounced. She makes me pronounce it Alisa. Whatever. To make yourself feel. <laughs> it's called like Alyssa, but it's Alisa. <laughs> My mom wanted to be a little different. It's spelled like Alisa, but like and pronounced she gets completely mad different. That the world calls me Alyssa. I know the other day I was I was at Tree Fusion and I went to a class and then. I was like, lady at the counter, I was like, oh, my name's Alicia. And your name, she said, oh, she's a pretty Her name is Alicia? Alicia. Shut up. What was she? Alicia, Alicia. People say That's me, not like, the same thing as Alicia. Who says Alicia? Alicia, with an A. That's not. How do you, how do these names know. sound to you? I don't know. <laughs> how do these names sound? An A sounds like an A, and a U sounds like a U. Okay. You think, so I should be saying A, Lisa, you think? Not like Alisa. I would say your name, Alyssa. How look at look at the way my name is not Alyssa. How would you say it in Spanish? How would you say that in Spanish? The way that it's spelled. I can't remember how your name is. <laughs> like Alyssa. I played the fifth. Are okay. you saying you because of my email? Is that why? Because my email and my username on things is U H L E. I remember when you changed your Facebook name. To literally yeah, U-H-L-E-E-S-S-A. Very pointed, very all capital letters. Like somebody really upset you. That was the day. I'm telling you, that was the day I flipped. My eyes started twitching. That's when I know I get really upset. My eyes start twitching uncontrollably. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say. I really don't. I don't know. I have no comment. You guys see what I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are listening. Sorry, my name's not Daisy. It's just, you know, just regular. Daisy. There's no other I way to pronounce people, it. My name's Daisy. Can you pass me the scissors? <laughs> my middle name's Nicole. So, for a long time when I was a kid, I got so tired of people calling me Alyssa that I would just say I told my grandma like I want my name to be Nicole so she would call me Nicole nobody else would do it but she would like I was down she's cool should you be ever you want to be Nicole's cute but it was spelled with an H so my mom no but Nicole was the H is still Nicole yeah unless you pronounce that differently also No, no Nicole she says Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. In my name, you pronounce the H. <laughs> <laughs> the H is not silent. The H is not silent. Right? I've decided. <laughs> but look, Marty spelled my name right. How would you say that? How not with the U. What are you, why do you keep going to the U? That's just how I, that's my username on things to help people. You're upset. <laughs> You're really upset. I'm so confused on this you. Get the you out of your head, man. You're it's my email. Upsetting. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna call you Nicole. Yeah, just call me Nicole. Yeah, I'm just gonna call better. you Nicole. You, you just want? I'll answer. I don't like Alisa anymore. <laughs> me either. Sometimes the one Alisa that I met. She's not good anymore. <laughs> Nicole is my alter ego though, and I go out and have fun. All right, we don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a family friendly channel. Thank you. Put my contacts in before I got lazy because then I take off my glasses. Oh yeah, Jen always has to mention that her dog's name Daisy. <laughs> Jen, I my dog's to... name was also Daisy before we changed it to Dizzy. So we adopted a dog, uh, a boxer eight nine months ago and her name was daisy and i was like i know too many dogs and people named daisy <laughs> so anybody who has a dog named <laughs> daisy now is dizzy <laughs> my whole life anybody who's ever had a dog named daisy has to tell me that they have a dog but what's cute daisy. is that daisy this daisy was with me when i picked up my dizzy so i had all the daisies and for a couple of days i'd be like come on daisies let's go on a walk <laughs> Taking my daisies out for a walk. And then old guys always had to sing that daisy song. Which daisy song? You don't know the daisy song. I don't fucking like do. Well, Can you, you sing it for me? Well, you were born in 1928, so <laughs> that's probably why you don't know it. I'm not going to sing it because that song traumatized me. See, Marty has a niece 
but it's spelled like Alyssa, but pronounced Elisa. And, a, a, and Alisa, wait, Alyssa, and then an Alisa spelled, pronounced O-C. I'm not going to accept that. These, these, these spellings and pronunciation just get a little too weird. That's why I tell my mom, I'm like, you can't get mad at people. You can't be upset that people call me Alyssa. Like, it is your fault. And she thought she was being clever because my great grandma's name was Elizabeth, but they named, they called her nickname was Alisa. But when that doesn't even make any like, sense. E L. It's, it's I've a, never met an Elizabeth whose nickname. She's Italian. They're all Italian. Old school Italian. Okay, you know what? I will respect that. But then when my mom found out that my great grandma's name was Elizabeth, guess what she named my middle sister? What's Lizzie's name? Oh, <laughs> Elizabeth. Lizzie's name is Elizabeth. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> she had no problems with people calling her Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth? <laughs> Just, just saying, stop. Just nobody, stop. Nobody calls her that. I cannot accept your ways anymore. Giving out my name online. You told them your middle name. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. You told them your social security number, not me. Okay, so. You don't want so my dad. You don't want my dad. It's okay. Just don't. Not anybody in the chat, hopefully, but anybody in the background. <laughs> Hot in here. This thing is so hot. I'm like, woo! And what's crazy my pedicure, here? Like, it gets making my thighs hot. It's nowhere near your thighs. It's like over my bed. I feel it. You are full of lies. <laughs> Not lies. It's hot. It's hot. You hot. are a bold faced liar. Why do you call me that? I'm not That's from King of the Hill. That's why. <laughs> uh, King of the Hill stuff. You and my boyfriend. <laughs> No, you're a redneck. I do that to my husband. <laughs> and he's like, I know. He's <laughs> <laughs> always like, referencing things. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm really bad with, with movie and TV references. Even movies that I've seen a thousand times. Like, I don't really make an effort to, to try to remember it's the line. I'm, I'm ridiculous. I, I'm like, oh, what is that from? I have no like thoughts of my own. So I speak in quotes from movies and TV shows. I definitely speak a lot about drag race things and people are like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you telling me to work? Like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's from King of the Hill. Yes, Miss Jen, you are, everybody knows. So, like, I was telling you earlier and I didn't get to finish. Babe, are you getting up? Yeah. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> um, as I was trying to tell you earlier, what was I even saying? Are you telling me or are you telling me? Oh, that's what no, I, was, as I was telling you earlier. Like, I literally have Hulu just to watch King of the Hill. Oh, yes. You do, you do. And when you've watched all the episodes, it starts to mess up somehow. Like, like mess say, up in your brain? No. <laughs> but, I mean, it does, it does mess my brain up. But, <laughs> no, what I mean, like. Definitely feels the brain cells. When you got, shut up. When you got, um. When you see, I can't even talk. You're stressing me out. Jenna says you should do Halloween and Christmas banners. Oh, don't get me and started. I, think like, I have enough. Them. I have enough Christmas stuff that I could. That's how gross it is. Christmas? Yeah, you do have a lot of Christmas stuff. You're not even looking at the bright spot. I know. It's over there. I realize it. <laughs> You're you not even looking at the bright All the time. I just see bins and bins. Anyway, I am not done talking about this Hulu. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Back to King of the Hill. And Back to King of the Hill. Oh, get. Get on subject, okay? <laughs> so. Man, I don't want to grab my chair. I'm so hot from this thing. Woo. It might be the chair. The chair is terrible. Are you okay with that? Girl? Yeah, no, I'm good. Switch you permanent. Anyway, okay. so when you watch something a lot on, on Hulu, it starts to say that there's like an error. Like it can't play the episode. And there's no way to like clear. Like all the episodes are full bar because you watch them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it won't like restart it just as there's an error. Yeah. So every time I finish watching King of the Hill for the hundredth time, I have to create a new profile so that I can rewatch it again and not what? have that error happen. You're saying you have to go on Hulu and create a whole new profile. Not an account, just a profile, like on your Hulu account. You don't have to create a whole new account. 
I have to create a whole new profile so that I can continue keep watching. The whole point is you can watch it as many times as you want. I uh, maybe I'll I'll try it on my main profile. Maybe they fixed it. Yeah. But you know what? It would actually happen also on Netflix. Daisy's just looking for another excuse to rewatch King of the I, I'm just looking for an excuse to watch <laughs> the same thing over and over and over. Maybe I should watch it one more time. You should ask Mike how many times I played my Drag Race playlist this morning. It was three times. <laughs> Every time I come over here, you got it on. It's all Are you watch. telling me there's other songs? <laughs> what? sure he's saying it to somebody old guys literally cannot help themselves this one? I'm gonna lose it you guys <laughs> about to lose I'm gonna put it. this on my leg so that I can think it's, I'm gonna call you and sing this to you randomly. Oh my god. You're welcome. You brought it up. I'm in the block. <laughs> but the ver the most popular version is sung by Donald Duck. Oh really? Yes, yeah, so it's even more ridiculous. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, it's cute as a song, sure. But like being subjected to having to listen to it because somebody's serenading you randomly. It's just weird because literally it would happen like once a month. Really? Yeah. Somebody would speak to you once a month? Yeah, well, once they find out your name is Daisy. This is random. And they're of a certain age. Hi, I met you at the convention center. I was just no, not at the convention people. center. <laughs> at, it always happened at the medical supply center because always the old people coming in. Oh, well, you were keeping them alive. <laughs> they were just saying to you out of appreciation. I don't know why it made my eye twitch every time. I still have the same stethoscope I bought from you in that store. I really need to get a new one. Uh, my aunt works there. Oh, really? Yeah, I could tell her if you want to get a discount. I've been looking at the different, the newer stethoscopes. They're, they're quite pricey. They're, oh, sure, they went up in price. <laughs> I was going to say, I got this. I love mine. It still works. I just, I should have got it. Um, we used to have Brazilian, Brazilians would always come and buy 20 stethoscopes. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because they're worth like three times the price in other countries. Wow. Yeah, so they always, and it was always specifically Brazilians. I don't know why. I, I never got to the bottom of that conspiracy theory. <laughs> Did they specifically come in for the, the, the popular brand or the name brand? I mean, it's, if you're not using that bridal stethoscope, I mean, you're using a toy. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, I really feel that you know way. What I, mean? I, I research all of them, and then brands, like just other brands, and there's really only one. That's what I'm saying. If you're not using I can't remember what brand. What brand is it? I can't remember. Am I allowed? I don't want to, I wasn't going to say it, because you were talking about copyright. <laughs> oh, my God. What <laughs> brand? Lippman. I was, I can't even remember. It's been so long, I can't remember, Lippmann. but I know, I know it is, like, the standard. I love my... Which is a master get? master classic. The gold one? No, it's a no. turquoise Cheaper one. Um, hose. <gasps> oh, you did it. <laughs> I didn't even do that. It's because you didn't um 
because you didn't do it, so I'm gonna blame it on you. Marty says she is of a certain age. <laughs> There's a Mexican song called Jennifer, and the mariachis have to sing it to me. <laughs> I don't even know what. I want to hear this. I'm going to look that up, <laughs> Miss Jen. So I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Mariachi song that says Jennifer. Don't. Oh, I'm doing it. Don't. She's going to quit. <laughs> She's going to quit if you play that song. I have enough Christmas fabric that you could do the banners. that I could do banners, but I I don't decorate for Christmas. I Maybe I could give it to you for what? For Christmas. What are you giving to me? A banner. I would. You're gonna it. accept it. I <laughs> will love it. I would love it. <laughs> I'll hang it up. Cause you know I have all this Christmas fabric and I really don't know what to do with it. I just bought it cause it was cheap, and I'm like somewhat of a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot. Of, I was just thinking, or uh, going through all my decorations that I have, and when I lived up in, in Sacramento, I had quite a bit from my studio up there, but I got rid of a lot of it. But all I'm right, back to SoCal. It's been decided. Come tomorrow at six a.m. and we're gonna get started. That's crazy. <laughs> we're gonna get started. What is six a.m.? <laughs> yes. Okay. Make it four. Make it four. We're, we're gonna be awake. What are you talking about? It's gonna be four a.m. So I made this difficult because I decided, oh, I can make this out of solid fabric and it's two steps. Oh, I'm going to make it more complicated and do patchwork fabric and make it take 10 million steps. <laughs> you do like to do that. <laughs> like when you were teaching me the sewing machine, you're like, all right, here's the simple thing and then add to it. And then boom. Patchwork. I was try it. I don't teach people. And then I got it down after like, how many hours did we do that? We did it for like four hours and I was like into it. I was like, I'm getting so good. And then I just forgot about the next day. It takes time. So. I, I mean, I, 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 under, I understood it right away and I became an expert like within five minutes. Yeah, but you I know did, you're for some good. people. I'm, I, for I some people. I'm a little slow. Some people. I mean, I, I didn't want to say it. So I don't have, I, I don't, my attention span is just. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's Even like. <laughs> like. I just forget. I was into it, and then if I don't keep it up, because like when I got home, I was so I was determined to get a sewing machine, and then I go and I look at one of them, and I look online, and I just got overwhelmed, and that's why I was like, "DC, which one should I get?" And I was and I was literally at the store, I was at Walmart when I was talking to you. Did I tell you which one? Yeah, you did. But then there was just so many of them, and then I just got in my own head, and I was like, "You know what? I'm not gonna get it right now." <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but tough news. I'm I'm not I'm not advising anybody else to become a hoarder. <laughs> If you like it, if it's fun for five minutes, but you got, I mean, you got to need space for it. We got space now, though. Oh, well, yeah, now you do. But I am not a hoarder of things. I definitely, if I feel like I'm, if I have obtained and too many things, if you get a sewing machine, things, you I will, will become a hoarder. I will give it away for free. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't buy it then. I'd be like, oh. You can buy. People always say, like, oh, buy a cheap one off the, like, um, at a yard sale. I would not advise. So I thought about that to you, just getting, but then I like yours. <laughs> I just, you know why I wouldn't advise that? Because a lot of sewing machines, like that people sell for cheap or whatever, or give away, they need maintenance. They're not going to work properly if they weren't used yeah. often. So you're going to have to end up, you're going to end up either getting mad at it because it's not working right. And it's not anything you're doing. It's just because it's old and it just needs to be, like, serviced. Right. So then it costs you the price of servicing, which is about $100. Well, you could buy a whole new sewing machine for $100. That's how I feel about the stethoscope thing is I was going to send it in for maintenance. And then it, it, my warranty expired, so it was going to cost a lot. And I was like, I could buy a new one. But I really like mine. I'm holding on to it for sentimental value. Even though it's rigid and so, like it's not flexible anymore, it just kind of <laughs> stays in the shape that it's in. <laughs> Nobody ever told me there would be a problem with those. I didn't know that happened. No, no, I'm not saying it's you. It's just from you. No, it's obviously it wasn't me, Grandma over there sticking out to your stethoscope you every day. Maybe, maybe you can get that by maybe the family desk, discount. Discount. Uh, I'm not getting you no discount. No discount. You gave me that discount. Well, say my aunt works there. I could call her up. Hey, whenever if you want to go over there. I appreciate that. 
I could also go there, but I try not to go there. <laughs> <laughs> Memory. I am not the type of person that will go back to a place where they work. Are you? I am I, I am gone. I, don't I know find that, I like, again. in my mind, I like revisiting the places, but when in, in reality, when you go, it just things are always going to be different from what you remember, and it may not always be a good thing. So going back, like, once to say hi to friends, to friends is ideal, or but not all the time, though. No, I don't. Like, in my head, I was thinking about going back to the hospital that I worked at up north, my first vet hospital. I learned a lot there. I loved it. They were all family, but it's just so different now that I don't know. Last time I went, every, there's so much that was different. Uh-huh. So I think I just, I like to live in my memories of it. Ugh. I feel like this point isn't out, but I feel like also I will... Just slice right through it if I keep trying. See, because it's patchwork, the tip kind of is like there's a lot of seams in there, yeah. and the tip won't come out. And that's why it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good life. You can do my fault. <laughs> why do you keep taking the scissors? What are you cutting? This all your little threads. Like, oh, on on like, what are you doing with those scissors? Why are you keep taking them? I'm being pretty OCD about the threads. I'm like not used to working <laughs> with somebody else. <laughs> I keep using my tools. Well, you told well. me to cut the, the thread, and so I, I didn't have, tell you to do anything. But you're okay. not cutting them, so I'm like, oh, she's doing that. Do you have proof? <laughs> do you have video evidence? You said specifically just that one end, but in my mind, that meant like just cut the whole thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> we need an extra knife. I will bring my own scissors, okay? Yeah, please next time bring your own scissors and your own iron. <laughs> I'll bring my, I'll bring my, my dog tone up slippers. <laughs> Marty says, I need some Daisy made clusters. Ooh. I do have a listing, I believe, for. I have. Do I have? <laughs> I do have a handmade ephemera, and I was thinking of making some floral Bible quote uh, clusters. But you can check that out, Mar- uh, Marty, and see if those, if you could use those. They have um, some tags, they have some pockets, and it's a lot of embellishments. I also have a Christmas one also have some Christmas um, ephemera packs as well if you want to check the Christmas ones out. And they're 40% off, so right now is a good time to check them out. If I could learn how to use a mouse. Oh my gosh. Okay. It doesn't like the surface. Where I've used a computer before. Here's the Christmas one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Mario said, or you could buy a sewing machine for 200 and it starts sewing backward and will cost you 200 to fix. So you buy a bluesy machine instead, just saying. Are you talking about Jen? <laughs> that sounds like a very specific issue. <laughs> very specific situation. Yeah, I think I just get a new one and learn it and then keep it forever and ever. I've had my sewing machine for four years, but I did, I think I returned like two of them before I got this one and I stayed with it. You said how many years did you have this one? About four. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I get it serviced every two years. I mean, this is literally, when I take it, they're like, uh, you should really buy a real sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? They're always trying to, to uh, like, tell my husband to buy me a sewing machine. That, that's what, what's wrong with your sewing machine? Nothing. 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 It's just it. not a fancy one that they sell. <laughs> that's their problem with it. They're like, we would have a better time fixing and maintaining. Machine, if you would just it's just like I'm stuff. sure their sewing machines are the best. I'm sure this is literally like a kid's toy compared to some industrial commercial fancy machines. I'm sure. 
You know what I mean? But nothing. <laughs> I like it. It's got character. Look, well, you even got Orchata's life sticker on it. Its name is Orchata. Jen, Jen, I love Jen it. the boss named my Because of your sticker, I bought Adrian and I stickers. <laughs> because it is. Because it is. So, Marchata is life and sewing is life. That's why I must have that name. It has plastic parts over time. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're sewing with a cracker box. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Lately, I have, I have, I hear this like, Little like grinding, like sanding in the machine. Sound. Mm. It's just like I I know the sewing machine, but I'm like, oh, that, that sounds too white. That sounds very like slightly. I could hear it. So this, I think this thing cost me like a hundred and sixty. Jet says she's been hearing it too. And that's, I've been hearing it. Too. That's actually she's the second person who says. And I'm like, when you're I had just your got it serviced. And so I've, I have been finally thinking, maybe it is time to get like an actual sewing machine. Because this was like $170. Where are you? That's that. not bad, right? Um, but just like you, I'm sitting here like looking at the options online. And I'm like, oh my God. I don't what, <laughs> what, like, what, Daisy, what is. See, what do I do? What? I get, I did, I get, I get a roll out too. Because I don't even know if these prices are right. Because this sewing machine, four years ago, I got it for one hundred and seventy dollars. Inflation. And right now, this same sewing machine is three hundred and something yeah. at Walmart. Same place I bought it at three hundred something. I'm like, what? So I just. I'll wait till it explodes or I'll wait till, <laughs> I'll wait till there's one on sale for a dollar. Cause I, at this point, I don't know if I'm just buying the same machine in a different brand or if it's actually an upgrade. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause this is 179 to me, a $300 machine is an upgrade, but that $300 machine is probably a $179 machine. And they you know have what different I mean? levels too. They have like a, a deluxe. And a premium. I was like, what? Yeah, I need one that says Deluxe, I'm... and then I'll know. It's <laughs> <laughs> and they're all different colors. It's like, I just but I mean, you, the prices go. The prices go as high as you want for sewing machines. Yeah, as high as you want. So I have to think like maybe a six hundred dollar sewing machine is like an upgrade. Jen says hers was on sale. It was a grand on sale, no interest for a year. Woo That's a lot. But it is a lot, but I bet she loves it. I bet. But then I remember what my mom would say. It's fancy. your business. Yeah, it's true. It is your business. That's what my mom would say. Invest in your business. Your mom's right. That's what my mom would say. Your mom's always right. My mom's also a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is also a certified hoarder. <laughs> uh, but she she always she's always like it's for your business. You gotta do. Baby Lock makes brother as its low end machine. I'm sure. I'm I'm sure, like I said, it's just I just wanna get ripped off. <laughs> just, you know you wanna get ripped off. Jen, did you get your machine at one of those like sewing machines? Where did you buy your machine? That's the because, like, other than Joanne's, the places that carry sewing machines are those sewing, those vacuum places. That's true. They, they, they have specialty stores, yeah. And they look expensive. They look, I mean, they got, like, computer screens. They got an iPad attached. Pancake maker. I mean, they go. They go. <laughs> I would buy a sewing machine for a grand if I had a waffle maker. My friend Santos, yeah. he bought a sewing machine. It was $10,000. Santos bought a set. What? For what, girl? I don't know. Did you use it? I try not to judge other people. <laughs> that's such a lot. But at the same time, he's my friend and I'm like, but does, I'm as my long girl. as he uses it, that's the, I, as long as he uses it. I'm not even listening. Is it, is it a piece of art? Because I don't know if he doesn't use it. So <laughs> if he does, I'm going to hope that he does. <laughs> Just bring it up casually and pop Because I'm like, girl, so, you got to retire at some point. What are you doing? <laughs> 
as my mama would say, you're gonna eat that? Like, you're gonna sleep She's all like, that? as your best friend, if you are not using it, I will take it. <laughs> I, will <laughs> I can hold it. I can hold it for you. So I can should be you. I can give her, I can give it. Unless uh, you plan on putting that in some kind of like modern art museum. It has like some embroidery features or something. It's so okay. I, I don't, I'm not, I would never touch it. I don't want to break it because I don't want to touch thousand dollars. Specifically, unless you just gives it to me and solely. I, I don't touch things that I cannot afford to replace. That is one rule I've always put upon myself. <laughs> if you can't afford to replace, don't touch it. Just I'm really bad touch. about touching things, especially at museums. Like especially if they say don't touch, it makes me want to touch it. That's one of those places. Wow. Very good. Letting me place it in my hands. <laughs> I know you're very gentle. <laughs> I am kind of excited. Yes, I am very gentle. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> Jen says mine is one step away from a burning machine. Girl, you gotta um message me. Did you say when you bought it? Uh, so same maker, a sewing store that's mom and pop. See? Yeah, those mom and pop stores. Oh, oh, you know who else? <clears throat> but the the quilt shops. There's quilt shops in town. Marty says it does everything except cook dinner, wash dishes, and dance on the <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes. Well, my sewing machine will be making its money back. Somewhere. Give me some lessons. It's a stripping pole, like. Oh, at least, least I want some more details. <laughs> Dual purpose. Why do I feel like these aren't ironed? What are you talking about? I thought they look good. <laughs> like, you're the boss. boss. Wait, that's not, it, does that edge look flat? Oh you know what? The rest of them, no? You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally the same thing, let it sit on the edges. Physically trying to burn these. These are so long, you're going to catch fire. How much was two scanning cuts? Jen, don't come for me. She's trying to come for me. <laughs> She's trying to come for me. And I don't appreciate being called out. <laughs> my first scanning cut was $350. And my second scanning cut, I believe, was $450. Is that flat enough? No. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> Is that flat enough? You're letting them cool down. I feel like the ones I ironed were twice as flat. <laughs> My ironing skills just aren't there. <laughs> Jen, you're good. It's fun. <laughs> it's all good, girl. You know I'll never fire you. Alisa on the other hand, <laughs> is okay. She'll take me back. <laughs> She'll miss me. That's right. I can't. I can't make my sit down for this long time. So I do appreciate it. So it have only taken me eighty four years to complete on my own. <laughs> they look so fabulous, you guys. Oh, that one looks. Oh my gosh, Elisa, you can. You may eat one, but you have to. Do, you have one. to do it on camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? So we only need to make so oh my cat just noticed you in here. No, he's not in here. I was gonna say hi bye. No, but he probably didn't want to say hi to you. No, he probably didn't. He's so silly. He's your only cat that has never loved me and it makes me sad. <laughs> you know what? There must be a reason. Yeah. Me. We all change. Maybe give off bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he knows you're a vet. <laughs> right? They sense it. Dogs, dogs love me. Cats, they're just like, uh, I know what you do. So you can leave. <laughs> leave my house. This the shop is gonna feature me in an email. Ooh. Oh, with you like a project that you made? That's fabulous. They look like ice cream cones. I'm still like so shocked that I didn't like the ice. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm still shocked that I didn't like the 500 yards of lace that I sewed on to this pattern. <laughs> the lace itself is beautiful. It is. It just doesn't bend right. You're out of it. You took the keys to get your the cookies or um you left the cookies in the car? Mike did. I <laughs> buy my comic good night at work. Thank you. Where did I have it? Well I put the cookies. Okay, you put the keys back. Make sure you give her those cookies before she hides them. Can you help him close the gate after he pulls out? Yeah. Just close it. We'll close it probably later. Do you need to lock it or just close I'll it? I'll do the lock later. Okay. Here it's nice and flat and hot. You can redo this one when you get Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm in that gate. Are you going right now? Yeah. Okay. Alright, let me get these. These end up being. I, so, I ended up sewing these together. So they end up being like this square. Later on. But why are you scared of Elise? A little bush. She loves you, little bush. My cat is so weary of like strangers. It takes him about an hour to accept that you're not leaving and then he'll come out. <laughs> okay, I haven't even looked at the clock. I. <laughs> It feels like we've been like for like two minutes, but it's been almost two hours. Okay, so by tomorrow, I will have to figure out <laughs> how I'm going to place the banners. If I like the lace, if I don't like the lace, what am I going to do about the lace? I'll have to decide that before I sew these onto the bias tape. So, then I also have to figure out how many banners I need for my shorter banner. So maybe Elisa can help me with that too. Do you want the sliding door open back there? Huh? The sliding door open, yes? The door itself, the slider, not the screen, but the door? Yeah, the door. Okay. Yeah. No, the oh. back gate I closed. So the yeah. sliding gate is closed. And then I closed and locked the back uh, you screen mean door. this glass door right here? Yeah, I closed the screen. Do you want the door closed? Yes. Okay. Just here. Thank you. You're welcome. It makes sense because it's hot out there. I was trying not to question you. I feel like I shouldn't have even had to ask that question. Now that I think about it, it was kind of a dumb question. Like, I was hundred degrees off that. I was gonna make a joke, but then I was also like, "Do you right, want the hot end?" Leave, you <laughs> I was gonna tell you. Yeah, I put really? a sign out there that says, "Please rob me, enter here." <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you um understood. <laughs> yeah, as I, as I was walking back, I was like, that was dumb. Why did you ask that? I was just trying to be polite, but I realized I don't need to do that here. <laughs> You're funny. I'll, I'll allow it. My cat went back into the He's, he's going to keep just peeping. I always forget his name to you. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. It's the easiest Boo -boo. name. Boo -boo. What's his real name? His name is also Boobaloo. His name is also Boobaloo. His name is also Bunny Boy Boobaloo. Oh my gosh. All right, Boobaloo. <laughs> he also goes by Little Boy. You gotta <laughs> say it like that. He's Little Boy Boobaloo. He's got a lot of names. My mom's got a neighbor cat that randomly pops up in the garage because they leave the garage cracked. Just a little bit, like this thing just crawls, army crawls underneath it. And then walk out there and and he's like, I was like, Mom, there's a cat in your garage. Why do you make your garage door crash? Because my mom smokes and she likes to go outside and have her cigarette in the garage sometimes. Although I did call her out on there because it's like 100 degrees. So in there, it's like a hot box. And then you're smoking a cigarette in there. 
I'm like, Mom, why don't you just go in the backyard? And I'm she's like, sure the snow will dissipate eventually. It's not going to get trapped yeah, in a closed. garage. Garages yeah, are not like air. Garages are not like enclosed like that. See, like, garages are. Pretty are. Pretty Yours much is cool. not enclosed. <laughs> <laughs> Out country. <laughs> You have a carport. Are, you, are like, you talking down on my carport? No, I like your carport. I love my carport. I can put more cars in my carport. You're the one you saying, I'm going to get robbed. Garage. I'm not going to speak of the things outside All right, you know, car. We're being, real, we're being <laughs> really immature right now. <laughs> Let's talk about the things that I saw on the ground when I got out of the car, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I live in the Hollywood Hills. I don't know what you're <laughs> I live in the best. I don't know what you're talking about. This is... This is... You know what? I Beverly always Hills, do. I'm always impressed with how clean the pool is, though. For real. <laughs> From a distance, I'll, your pool looks I'll, I'll so clean. I'll tell you later about that. <laughs> Our HOA is getting mad, and it sounds like they're getting mad at us. Oh, really? I'll tell you later, because it's a little inappropriate. But... Uh, <laughs> I always... I check her out, Mike. I look around, and I'm like, oh, man, Summerlin has really changed. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Summerlin I remember, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Summerlin has really gone downhill, you know. <laughs> That's so I tell everybody, like, sometimes I've been live, and there's like gunshots. Literally, pop, pop. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, it happened one time. I was like, um, I'm here at the, the window. I'm gonna, I have to, I have to go. <laughs> I have to see <laughs> Everybody here knows I don't, yeah, it's a community pool. I don't have an actual pool myself. Everybody here knows I could possibly, um, I could possibly be in danger of the minute of the day. <laughs> yeah, wear shoes when you go outside. That's why there's been times where I've like shown my address on camera, and I'll be like, "Look, if you want to come, um, I assure you, you cannot make it to my door from my, the street. <laughs> I promise you, you will turn around." <laughs> I text her when I pull up just in case something happens. Between the time I get out of the car, and I, I the would car. do the same because like, I don't let nobody drop me off without watching me get in the door. I always watch you. Yeah, absolutely. you have to watch me get in the door if you're gonna drop me off. <laughs> I do that with everybody. That's just a courtesy thing. That as far as a kid, like even with friends that my parents would drop off, like my mom, my grandma would drop off, and we always made sure that you got inside safely. Everybody knows I don't live in the best neighborhood, but the rent is great. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I, mean, I could possibly die at any moment, but you just can't be there. Right? <laughs> it feels nice and cool in here. Like you got AC. <laughs> and you know what, though, to be honest, like I, I think this is probably. I, I used to. I moved here at, at those um the apartment Seagull suites. Those were the first apartments we ever lived in. Me and Mike. The ones over here. The one on Wayne. Yeah. Those. That was the first apartment we ever had. Those when you were on the third floor. No, that's on the. No, no, no. You're talking about. You're you're thinking about our villa and flamingo. Yes, I like those ones. That was a fabulous apartment. I, I really like that apartment. That's Mostly because we could just sit and watch the fireworks from there. Two bedrooms, two baths, washer dryer, five hundred dollars. Yeah. Shut up. That was yeah, the best. That was, that was the best apartment. Um. But. I, I actually, I, I like it here. I don't mind it. No. As long as I stay in my house, <laughs> I'm safe. And you know what? That's all I need. <laughs> I'm safe. I, I actually never, because my husband, he doesn't always work night times, but when he does, like, honestly, this is like the... Can we bring Dizzy over here? Oh, man, she'll, she'll protect you. I don't Should have brought her. I didn't even think about it. The cat will let you in. <laughs> right, my cat will let you in and I'll show you where I keep all the documents. <laughs> um, but like to be honest, I I feel so safe in here with all the, yeah. the burglar bars. Yeah, you've got. Plenty I of literally live in a fortress. You do. 
Like, this is where you want to be during the zombie apocalypse. Oh, sure. I'm coming to you. Like, grill outside of the just paint out to my I was like, oh, it's that grill. That's that grill. I'm talking. It's like, a nice grill. Like, yeah, I should probably learn how to use it. <laughs> we like, don't yeah, use it. Should. We don't. I've never used it. I'm not a grill person. I'm, I'm not a cook person. We'll be in the apocalypse. <laughs> but if the apocalypse comes, I will have to learn how to cook. Okay. Guaranteed. <laughs> now you're very safe. Okay. Very safe, yeah. We are about to hit the two hour mark. That's probably when we'll log off. I'm pretty much done over here. I'm just waiting um, for, for Elisa to hurry up or I will keep her pay. I will dock her pay. <laughs> <laughs> but basically the next step is to get it on the on the bias tape. Um, there's no there's no other steps. This is this is pretty much done. The banners are at least this batch is done. I don't know how many more I'm going to have to make up this. I'm already kind of sick of it. <laughs> I'm kind of over it, already over it, but I cannot stop halfway through. <laughs> so what's the next step from here? Oh, gosh. There's so many. The, no, there's actually not a lot. It's just um, it's still attached to my other bed. <laughs> okay. So the video that I followed, there was, a, like I said, I watched a lot of videos and there was a lot of techniques. This stuff is called a uh, double fold bias tape. Okay, I didn't know there's a single fold bias tape, I have no idea. But what you want is this double fold bias tape. I put this, the link to this in the description and it'll also be a comment down below. But basically, that's tape. It's not tape. It's, oh, I don't know okay. why they call it bias tape. <laughs> it looks like the material you make those rubber bracelets out of it, but it's softer. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyways, it's this is double full bias <laughs> tape. So the next thing I gotta do is look. I gotta put these banners. Oh, in yeah. the bias tape. You see. You see. You see. Very professional. Beautiful job. Well done. I just don't feel like doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just don't feel like doing that right now. But that's the next step. Well, actually, the next step is trying to figure out how many more I need to do, how I'm going to drape it, and then um, that's what I got to do. And then I got to figure out how many banners I need for this wall right here in front of us. Oh, okay. Did you measure already? Did you go with that? Girl, I don't know. Nope. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> getting too technical. What are you talking about? This is... Getting too technical. You're a vet tech. You're, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're a whole, lot, you're a whole uh, doctor compared to me, for sure. Oh. <laughs> so maybe, don't maybe, tell maybe it. you can don't do the math. Don't tell me. Maybe you can tell me. But thank you. <laughs> maybe you could tell me, doctor, how many batters do you have? People would find that offensive. <laughs> I'm sure there's no doctors listening to <laughs> my show ever. <laughs> they do. Uh, Marty, you, I don't think so, girl. This is this is a hundred fifty-five yards. Marty so also said that in a zombie apocalypse, we're coming to your house. Yeah, you you guys have seen my address. <laughs> <laughs> I have fifty-five yards. Um, there was this really pretty tape. Hang on. There was this one pretty um, double fold bias tape on Amazon and it had like, it was like a couple of different shades of pink and then like flowers on the tape. That was 25 yards and it was $15. And then there was a solid pink one, 55 yards for the same price. I really had to like think about it. And then I was like, no, no, no. If I mess up, I need more, more and yeah. I might mess up. So I plan to mess up. So my plan has come true. <laughs> my come predictions true. have come true. So I was like, ah, oh, but the it just looks so pretty. You know, it, it was like flowers. It was, I think one was polka dots. It was just so cute. But I was like, you know what? I need more if I mess up. Plus, I don't know how to add, so I don't know how much I really need. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, if I buy this 25 yards, um, and if I mess up, it's going to cost me 30 instead of just 15. 
Okay, you guys, I'm going to call it a night with this live. Unless the zombie ate your brain. I think it already did. I think something uh, something happened to my brain. For Age. Me. Something <laughs> Um, I will probably, I'm going to try and see if I can figure out how I want to drape these or how I want to position them. Because I'm pretty much still attached. This is still attached to the banner because I don't know how much I need. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I don't know if I'll have that done by tomorrow, but when I figure it out, either Sunday or Monday, we're just gonna keep <laughs> gonna keep making batters. Keep crafty, just keep crafty. So if you want to come back for that, come back. <laughs> Are you talking to me or? or I'm Jenny? trying to convince somebody <laughs> that it's gonna get done. Come back if you want to help me. You have my address. Uh, on the first slide, people kept saying, "Okay, but well, what is it gonna turn into a banner?" I'm like. In three days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy, have a couple orders for me. Thank you, Marty, so so much. I'll get those out probably tomorrow because I have another order ahead to get out. So I'll probably get those out to you tomorrow. Thank you so so much. You guys thank um, you have a good night. Yes, thank you all so much for putting up with Miss Elisa here. I really appreciate it. Okay. I appreciate yours yours patience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so slow at things. Okay, everybody have a good night, and uh, we'll come back and hang out uh, either Sunday or Monday, probably. Anyways, thank you all so much for your support. Check out my shop if you are looking for junk journal printables or junk journal supplies or junk journals. I have everything. She, she does. <laughs> I got you covered. I'm, okay, I'm everybody, really have a good night, and thank you all so much. Uh, Jen says, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well.